Hello folks, Jasko here again. So what I'm looking at now is a um, ancillary drive belt. So I'll just tell you what that is. Ancillary drive belt is, is just a simple belt um, that runs, it's not the main timing belt, but it's the main belt, um, well, it is and it isn't. It's not the main timing belt. So if it stops, it doesn't mean your engine's gonna um, go bust or anything like that. You won't have the valves hitting the pistons. But what, what an ancillary drive belt is, um, it usually powers secondary items. Like when I say secondary, I mean secondary to the engine. So um, things like the alternator, air conditioning pr compressor, um, sometimes the water pump, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Sometimes the main timing belt drives the water pump. Um, usually the power steering pump and sometimes one or two other things, um, one or two other services um, that are running off the pulley. So that's why it's important to ensure that you tension it properly. So what we're going to do is we've got specific instructions um, to um, adjust, well not adjust, to install and adjust correctly a, an ancillary drive belt and I'm going to show you how I go about doing that. Okay, so this is the ancillary drive belt in um, this situation. Okay, so here would you see I put it on. Um, the way to get this on is simply this bolt over here, you loosen it, and it sends the tensioner upwards, and obviously the, the, less, the less it presses, the easier it is to get, get this uh, belt on. So basically what this belt services is alternator, all right, air conditioning compressor, all right, then it comes over here to the main crankshaft pulley, okay? And this is the main crankshaft pulley of the engine. You can see there's a timing belt that um, originally runs off that as well. And last but not least is the tensioner. There is a power steering pump over there. I haven't put that belt on yet, but that's an easy, that's just a simple belt that goes on the, on the outer, see? On the outer of the crank pulley. This one goes on the inner of the crank pulley, so we've got a few items we want to make sure this is correctly tensioned so the way we're going to go about it is we're going to basically when you pull down here when you apply 10 kil kilograms the deflection has to be around 9 to 10 millimeters okay Okay, so this is wrong. Well, this is not wrong, but as you can see, I've, um, I've applied only 5.6 kilograms of force, and the deflection is 10, mil is 10 millimeters. So that means what we've got to do, we've got to adjust the tension to make sure that it's the correct, that we actually get 10 millimeters for 10 kilogram force. Okay. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to increase the tension, which is simple because just by doing up this bolt over here. Okay, increase the tension a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to give it another try. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now we have got, basically we've got 9.5. Okay, that's the force that was applied. And this was, ten millimeters. Okay. 